The Rudder family has a long, rich agricultural heritage dating back over 300 years. In fact, Rudders is the oldest vertically integrated food company in the country. Today, Rudders is recognized as an industry leader with the latest advancements in technology, sustainability, consumer marketing, and philanthropy. The Rudders culture is built on using the knowledge of where they have been to plan the strategy of where they are going. So, let's go back to where the Rudder story begins in the late 1600s. The Rudder family were farmers in Germany. Conrad Rudder left the fertile lands of Rhine, Germany after the death of his first wife. He traveled to England to plan his trip across the Atlantic. During his time in England, he met his second wife, Jane Douglas. Together, they embarked on a new life in the new world, crossing the ocean to the new frontier of opportunity on a ship appropriately named America. They arrived in the Philadelphia Harbor on August 20th, 1683. Some 93 years after their arrival, the Declaration of Independence was signed. Initially, Conrad and Jane settled in Germantown, Pennsylvania, outside of Philadelphia. Over the next few decades, their son Joseph migrated westward to Lancaster County, and eventually his son Andrew settled in York County. The region near the wide meandering Susquehanna River must have seemed similar to family stories of the old country in Rhine, Germany, and was perfect for their agricultural pursuits. In 1747, Springitz Penn, the great-grandson of William Penn, deeded 167 acres of farmland to Conrad and Jane's grandson, Andrew Rudder. This land of fertile soil and accessibility to the new growing city of York would serve as the home base of Rudders for the next 10 generations. The dairy milk bottling business began in 1921 when George and Bud Rudder milked 20 cows on the family farm to produce the first 15 quarts of Rudder's milk. They showed entrepreneurial spirit by selling milk by horse-drawn carriage, door to door, for eight cents per quart. They named their operation Crystal Spring Dairy after the cold spring on the farm, which served as their first refrigeration. Will Rudder joined his brothers in the business a few years later to help run the farm operation, while George and Bud focused on the new business. When George, Bud, and Will could no longer do everything themselves, they invited Bud's brother-in-law, Layman Crist, to join them. Crist owned a car big enough to use for deliveries, so they would not have to buy one. He was the first Rudder's employee to deliver milk from a vehicle that was not powered by horses. In 1933, they changed the company name to Rudder Brothers Dairy. The first two employees were hired, and the first mechanical refrigeration equipment was installed instead of using the spring water for refrigeration. And in 1938, Rudders opened its first ice cream parlor next to the milk processing plant. In the 1940s at Rudders, as everywhere, the war effort was the first priority, and times were tough. 17 of the dairy's employees went off to the service. Gas was rationed, tires were a precious commodity, and new trucks were non-existent. Just as they had survived the Great Depression the decade before, maintaining their business required lots of hard work and ingenuity. Offspring of the first generation became part of the team during the 1950s. Dale and Jay Christ, sons of Lehman, joined the business in 1947 and 1953, respectively. Leo and Mike Rudder, sons of Bud, signed on in 1951 and 1955, respectively. And in 1959, Stu Hartman, husband of George's daughter Joanne, came on board. With this second generation came a great number of new ideas that were going to fuel the growth of the companies over the next decades. In 1967, they formed the CHR Corporation, which stood for Christ, Hartman, and Rudder. The purpose of the corporation was to house a convenience store chain called Rudder's Farm Stores, with a primary purpose to establish retail outlets for Rudder's dairy products. The concept of the convenience store that would be open long hours and seven days a week was in its infancy and offered a promising future. The first Rudder's Farm store opened in York in February 1968. Rudder's management continued to expand both the dairy and the farm store operations throughout the 1970s. The number of farm stores grew by four or five each year through the decade. 
1974, Rudders ventured into the restaurant industry with the opening of the first of soon-to-be six Rudders family restaurants. Although the familiar fleet of Rudders dairy trucks seems like it's always been part of the central Pennsylvania scenery, mechanical refrigerated delivery trucks were only added to the fleet in 1954, and tractor-trailer delivery units were actually not put into service until 1976. The late 80s and early 90s witnessed the introduction of a third generation to the Rudders Company's management team. Dale Crist's son, Jeff, Mike Rudder's son, Todd, Leo Rudder's son, Tim, and Scott, son of Joanne Rudder Hartman and Stu Hartman, all joined the company, adding their considerable skills, energy, and technological know-how. These were, again, new times for the dairy and convenience store companies when competition, technology, and food service were changing quickly. As with any new generation, changes were in the works. Soon, old stores were being remodeled or knocked down. Stores with one or two gas pumps were being replaced with 20 fueling spots, large gas canopies, and store buildings three or four times the size of the old stores. Rudder Superstores had arrived, and Rudder's customers loved them. Through the past three decades, Rudder's third generation has been recognized by its industry as leaders with an innovative management team. Today, Rudder's operates more than 60 convenience stores throughout Pennsylvania and a dairy business serving five states in the Mid-Atlantic region, with three cousins each serving as president of a different Rudder's company. Scott Hartman at Rudder's Farm Stores, Todd Rudder at Rudder's Dairy, and Tim Rudder at M&G Realty, a real estate holding company. They have adhered to the same set of corporate principles and values that have served Rudder so well through 10 generations of family ownership. At the same time, they have embraced constant change to meet the needs of today's ever-changing customers, all the while still adhering to Rudder's legacy of community involvement and a focus on the needs of children through Rudder's children's charities. Rudder's third-generation management team attribute much of their success to the high caliber and dedication of their employees. From the milkman of years ago who plowed through hip-deep snow to deliver the milk to the youngest counter clerk who greets farm store customers with helpful cheer. Proud of its heritage and the opportunities handed down to it, the third generation is constantly investing and growing the business in Pennsylvania and states beyond. Over 300 years ago, Conrad Rudder took the risk to come to America, and it paid off. That fearless spirit still guides the brand today. Rudders has received numerous accolades, awards, and recognition as one of the best brands in the entire world. Here are just a few of the recognitions the past decade. Central Pennsylvania Business of the Year, Corporate Citizen of the Year, Pennsylvania Convenience Store Chain of the Year, Convenience Store Innovator of the Year, U.S. Convenience Store Chain of the Year, and International Convenience Retailer of the Year. How many 300-year-old family businesses do that? Rudder's long-term success has been deeply rooted in community. So many generations have grown up with Rudder's products and services. Our commitment back to those loyal customers is a return of our success through charitable donations focused on children. Over the last decade, Rudders has donated over $5 million to support charities in the local communities where its employees and customers live. Rudder strives through living the brand's core values to satisfy the needs of team members, customers, and the communities they serve. Rudder's constant pursuit is to have its thousands of employees say, Rudder's, why work anywhere else? While its millions of annual customers say, Rudder's, why go anywhere else? Together, we make a great team and have a wonderful future. From our family to yours, thank you. I work for a winner.